Recession fears are hammering the energy markets at this hour. Oil down sharply today. Um, $100 a barrel under that in, in the session. Uh, right now, you can see it's at 99.78. Brent crude, Arbob, Natgas also down sharply as pressure at the pump, where gas prices are still uncomfortably high, continues to fuel anger across the country. Uh, take a look here. You can see that gas prices are averaging 4.80 a gallon for regular unleaded. That's a dollar 67 more than this time last year. But could they come down and fast as crude oil from which they're refined comes down? Uh, well, Citigroup says, uh, yeah, oil could hit $65 a barrel by the end of the year and then 45 by the end of 2023. That is drastic and it feels like whiplash. We bring in a Fox Business exclusive Gas Buddy Petroleum Analysis head, Patrick Dehan. Uh, $45 next year. Patrick, what do you make of Citi's prediction? You know, there's certainly a lot of these predictions on various ends of the spectrum, and I guess bold are conceivably possible, but depending on how things unfold, we could see one end of the spectrum more so than the other. So we're not out of the woods. We did see prices, as you mentioned, plummet some 9% today, uh, but I almost think we moved from an overbought market to an oversold market. Keep in mind, we still have some of the fundamentals sticking uh, sticking on here. Not only that, but an active hurricane season could cause uh, prices to reverse. But for now, maybe a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. The national average down 25 cents a gallon from its peak. That's causing Americans to spend about a mil $100 million uh, dollars less on gasoline every day so far. So do you think in the near term, I know people complain, and this is true, it's true historically, you know, gas prices follow crude oil prices higher a lot faster than they follow them lower. Do you expect to see at least temporary relief at the gas pump? I do think that stations will pass this along. Now, keep in mind that maybe uh, for every four days, three of them this year has seen a trend upward at the pump. And that's what stations uh, set stations behind. And that's why they also kind of drag their feet, so to speak, a little bit when prices do go down is because this year has not been a great year. Prices have trended up most of the time. Now stations are trying to recoup a lot of losses that they've sustained. So prices will move down, but it will take time. Mm -hmm. If today's losses hold, I think the national average could fall 40 to as much as 65 cents over the next few weeks. But that's the biggest question is, Will these prices hold or will they rally again? Yeah, I, I, no one knows. Um, but we do know that the president, Joe Biden, ordered gas station owners to cut prices that Americans are paying to fill up. And Jeff Bezos, the owner of The Washington Post, the founder of Amazon, one of the richest men in the world, <laughs> tweets this. Ouch. Inflation is far too important a problem for the White House to keep making statements like this. It's either straight ahead misdirection or a deep misunderstanding of basic market dynamics. Patrick, you know this business. Do you think the White House understands what's going on? I think Mr. Bezos has a point. Uh, the White House is giving conflicting statements, kind of throwing uh, stations under the bus, throwing refiners under the bus, throwing oil companies under the bus, basically throwing anyone he can under the bus, aside from saying, look, this is the situation that we're in. A lot of this is born out of the fact that COVID caused refineries to shut down, COVID caused demand to plummet. But I do think there is a point uh, to all the scapegoats the president is, is trying to point at. This is just a combination of factors. Um, you know, oil companies are raising production, but keep in mind the Biden administration has not made it easy for oil companies to return to a period of growth. I mean, that's that's fairly obvious. Or to give them some sort of commitment that the return on their investments will be worthwhile in the in the future, even the near future, because they still have a green agenda and that does not include fossil fuel. Exactly right. The clouds of uncertainty are potentially holding back oil companies from investing billions of dollars. It's yeah. not a good investment to invest billions of dollars under uh, a White House administration that's going after you at every turn it gets. Patrick DeHaan, thank you for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thanks for having me.